recovery team. Well, we're down here at Frontenac Farms, Southern Minnesota, for the Minnesota Four-Wheel Drive Association Convention. And right now, we're just cruising the trails. At this convention here, they got some prizes. And I don't know what the prize is, but they're supposed to find this. This is a medallion, and uh, one of the games is to find this. Well, it's hidden here in the wrecker. They gotta come find it in the wrecker. So it's always moving around. They get some clues. I think one of the first clues is code red. And I think the second clue is don't get stuck. Got it figured out yet? that it would be in the wrecker. So, like I said, we're just cruising around, see what's going on. As it turned out, just a little bit of spotting, we got him up the hill. Now we'll see if we can get up the hill.
No problem. Sand trap isn't very sandy today. No, it's pretty muddy. <laughs> pretty muddy and slippery, yep. <laughs> now the last clue for the medallion, uh, I was told, was we'll see you in the woods. And... Code Red. Code Red was the first clue. Uh, get Hooked. Oh, Get Hooked was get a clue too. was the fourth clue. Was, was the fourth the clue. clue. So guess who's asking me for the medallion? Ari here asked me for the medallion so she gets it. She's the winner. I needed their help. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we got that one taken care of and they got a prize for calling us to come and help because they figured out the clues. Apparently there's two more medallions out here somewhere. So they went off to search for one of those. with mud on them. It's not quite like the traction in Sand Hollow. trying to put the rock back so it makes a ramp. I think he's got the rock where he wants it now. Rock's moving the wrong way.
talked to Ari, and they're up on Victory Lap, so I'm heading up there right now. I'll be back. I know, I'm going the wrong way. Where's the recovery? Uh, Ari busted a valve stem off. She's up on Victory Lap. Put on it, Mike. It's a Colby valve. So it's a so valve you can it's put a valve in you push in and tighten up, and then you can so you can fix it on the trail. Yep. That's a pretty neat deal. What'd you do? Uh, I just slid around because I couldn't air down, and I just slid and slid, and then I got myself in literally a rut with these lovely trees that are down and these roots and. He went to uh, winch me out, reverse, and I caught the valve stem. It, air, it airs down quickly then. And it aired down very quickly. <laughs> we winched her up here on flat ground, and then we were gonna, we were planning on having you lift it up so we could change it out, and then I found the valves. Okay, so well, we'll see if that makes it out. Yeah. Well, they got a valve stem in it for now. Got some air in it, but we'll stick with them and uh, in case it doesn't make it out. Well, she's having a little trouble getting up this hill. So we're gonna back up and uh, get out the Ankum. Looks like Matt's rope was on the top. Red, yellow, it doesn't matter. They're both the same.
job. She's got traction now. Okay, now it's all downhill. If you take a look at the trees out the window, you'll see how steep this actually is. morning and yes there's more to come in the afternoon that'll be our next video but right now we got to get the wrecker here and all the recovery equipment ready for our big memorial off-road weekend event put on by the Minnesota go four wheelers in Dresser Wisconsin you can check out the event at memorial 4x4.org we'll be there at Dresser thanks for watching BSF recovery team Keep wheeling, be safe, and maybe we'll see you in Dresser, Wisconsin.